welcome back, welcome back. You are still tuned in to Fantastic Fridays. And I'm here with you every single Friday and all the Friday them win on your Friday. Don't ask me no question. I do know the answer. From 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. All right. And we're in the segment called Talk the Thing with Kim, where we're discussing understanding how to manage money in a relationship yeah. right it's a very important conversation i know valentine's are on the con and everybody all feeling all lovey-dovey and all of that but a part of that process is to have that financial conversation and that leads me to my next question you mentioned when you guys are having that financial conversation it's usually a hard thing to have mm-hmm. like what tips do you have to not let it seem like this big burden and the place just feel heavy and <laughs> you know like do i how much do i reveal how much do i hold back because all of us are really ashamed of our financial standing probably yeah. having zero dollars in the account probably having just debt on debt on the, you know how do we navigate even just that conversation so i think there are two things that that we found to help mm-hmm. change your environment Mm-hmm. So if you're usually talking about it at home and it's very tense at home, come out of the house. Mm-hmm. Like find somewhere to go. For for me, that was a that was a game changer that made a huge difference. Yeah, because sometimes the four walls because you see him there every day, you see her there every day, and this is where the problem lies. Yeah. So yeah, a little fresh air, man. Exactly. Never talk near the kitchen when the dishes are washed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you learned that one personally. Right? Is it there there are a lot of tensions at home already? Yeah. There, there there's so much responsibility and obligations yeah. and things that, that take you that, that are weighing down on you. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of the, to change the environment and yeah. try and have the conversation in, in a different space. That's oh. one. The other thing is if you, if the two of you alone can't work it out, can't find a peaceful way to actually have the conversation, get a mediator. Mm-hmm. Find a couple or a third party who a you both good. trust. Mm-hmm. A couple is good because you'll have two yeah, different both sides of You can relate. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because if it's just one person, they might one party may feel you're biased. Yeah. Right. It's a guy, so, so then you are yeah, on the side of the guy, the guy or, or yeah, yeah. and if it's your friend or exactly. compared to my exactly. friend. Which is why which is why so we mutual say third parties usually. Somebody or, or somebody's mm-hmm. who you both <laughs> agree on. With sense. Yeah, yeah. We always say that because nothing is wrong with having a mediator in a way. You need to be somebody right. that you trust and you validate your opinion and yeah. They can give some insight, not somebody you don't know what I'm doing. We, we right. encourage an, an accountability couple mm-hmm. for your relationship in general. Nice. Mm-hmm. That check-in, that check-in on your yeah, that's good. absolutely. So we have several. We have, we have those friends in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Which part of Jamaica? <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Yeah, and I mean, a, for us, we go for older couples. So we that's ask, even good. You get the wisdom. Exactly. So mm-hmm. we ask older couples to be our accountability couple mm-hmm. so that when we are in in our mind when we're having challenges we can, we, go, we can go to them and mm-hmm. trust and, them and we're the accountability couple for, for younger couples for us, that exactly. are nice yeah. most couples nowadays especially in the younger generation they go to their dream you know on the on the IG <laughs> And, and pink wall. And has put their business on what, social media. Wallers, what do you think and we should helps, do to save the relationship? You. It helps the viewers <laughs> on the channel. Uh, you certainly don't <laughs> want to take advice yes, that way. Because usually on social media, persons don't always respond in a real way. Yeah, yeah. And they're not yeah. even honest with their response. Things yeah. they wouldn't do, they're telling me and to they do. they certainly don't know the full context. Exactly. That's true. So when you can get with with a couple and sit down and actually hear both sides then it it makes a whole lot more sense a Mm. lot of things are not resolved because of pride yeah Mm. so when you're trying to deal with it on your own especially so there are times when i've been wrong Mm -hmm. but i'm not going to say that i'm wrong yeah we we are going to to bear this discomfort we we (laughs) We look at each other but we both know what he's not going to say exactly I, I, I can actually relate to that. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, this would probably happen to everybody. So, I mean, even persons who apologize every day, there might be one little thing <laughs> they will feel in their pride that they're not going to apologize. And that's why, that's why the accountability comes in. Yes, they have somebody too. If there are persons who have been there, they may, they may be able to see it and say, Jeremy, mm-hmm. you're dealing with pride. You know, so really, yeah. Jeremy, you're yeah. really not open enough to, to, to wife. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. simple as that. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I like that. I think we need like a, a, a database 
of, of, of you know, like when they have, as a, I call it, mentors and yeah. for businesses. Yeah. yeah. We need this kind of platform for couples because, oh. trust me, we, a lot of us. We need it. We need it. So all we do is, we, we, as the argument comes, we put down our status for the rest of our friends and family to view mm-hmm. that you're in arguments with your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Or the memes I mean, that get on the It happened. Yes. So I remember we broke up for what, six hours? <laughs> And I called my friend as like relationship over. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm done. Hit that my G. I'm <laughs> <ready>. Yeah. <laughs> right, but um, I, I lost my train of thought there. I was yeah. gonna say that it's 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 so important to just kind of try not to let your own feelings get in the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. But yeah, man. I, I, I mean, up to up to two weeks ago, mm-hmm. we were having a conversation about something he did with our son, mm-hmm. and. I was like, I think you should have handled it this way, mm-hmm. right? In in having done it that way, right. then this may have yeah. been how he felt, and right. that's why he responded in that way. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. I, I disagree. He needs to be disciplined. Did did. Da, 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 da. Okay. That's right. it. I said, okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Leave it. Mm-hmm. What was it, the next day? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the <laughs> next day, yeah. fr- he's talking to, to yeah. a friend, yeah. and they were talking for almost two hours on the mm-hmm. phone, and the same thing came up yeah. again. And the friend said to him, "You did it wrong, though. Okay, you were wrong. You yeah. shouldn't have done that. She was, she was right. Yeah. He comes back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, see, people, you were right. You gotta yeah. have good friends out there, people, yeah. man. I, I like this. I like this energy. I need to know which community these two are from <laughs> <laughs> and pick out a house because it sounds like a nice place. You have supporting people, and it might not have started this way, but you find a way to communicate yeah. to mm-hmm. each other. I remember way. what I was gonna say. Now, so one at one point we struggled with. Finding couples to do couple things with. Right. Yeah. That's one of the hardest things because mm-hmm. when you get to a certain stage as a couple, mm-hmm. you actually spend more time at home. Yeah. You don't really go out yeah. Yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. Or worse, you have kids, you're like, yeah, the schedule work or down. school yeah. or church, yeah. and like you don't do much. So. It's a rhythm now. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's sometimes hard. And yeah. and just to answer, just to answer in terms of where we found these couples, mm-hmm. for us, what changed everything was church. Okay. Like we, we literally started going to church, got saved, mm-hmm. started the, like that was our trajectory. Mm-hmm. And so we were able to come into community yeah. with people who believe in marriage. Believe, and, exactly. Yeah. People yes. who wanted to That's strengthen marriage. Mm-hmm. Because prior to that, we were we had all single friends. Yeah. yeah. That's we what had, I'm thinking. <laughs> And that's what happens. The girls, everybody, the relationship people get advice from the single people. You know, step number that one. Is it. Left I, the I man. Exactly. Left the girl. I don't think a single exactly. person should give advice to somebody. Who's well, well, that's actually something I, I learned from one of my brothers because he said he wanted to become, he wanted to be married and he said he realized that every time certain issues would come up when he would talk to his friend, his single advice he's getting, you know, mm-hmm. oh, she not worried, it's not worried. And I thought they were really, really and he decided that, no, I can't keep this circle around me because I'm not going to get to where I want to. So he saw to distance himself from that and then found other persons who were married. Mm-hmm. And shortly after, he was married, you know. Yeah. And he said he found it more realistic because when he came to them with issues, it was from a married perspective. Yeah. Like, okay, I can get that because this is what we've been through. And just everything exactly. that you're doing now, yeah. you know, but you can do it from this perspective from um, compared to somebody who's just... Living single and just having fun no and saying, you have to do that. That's not worth it. Stay <laughs> over here. You know, so it really is dependent yeah. on where you're trying to end up. You have to find that, that, that space yeah. to, that, you, that you're trying to grow into. And you notice exactly. a lot of the things we're talking about doesn't necessarily relate to money directly. No. no but it aids Supporting a lot of yeah. factors. It's going to help the balance, mm-hmm. of course. I mean, yeah. I need to find, uh, make some new friends. <laughs> But definitely, they, don't, they don't need to be wealthy, but you can build together. Remember, I, we started investing because mm-hmm. we had friends who were investing, yeah. and couples who were investing, yeah. and they helped us get started. Mm-hmm. So th- that's why they also say you are the sum of the five closest people to you, mm-hmm. and in their case, the couple is closest to you as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if these people aren't inspiring you, or yeah, you're does. gonna automatically adapt certain habits as well because mm-hmm. you're people that you re- you rely on you, you probably trust. communicate with the most you trust mm-hmm. so guys i'm just giving us general advice yeah. you have to analyze the persons around you you whether you think you are a part of whatever they do or not like i always hear especially guys like to say hey yeah, man one and two friend one i remember i remember one time uh when i was single somebody was like well i can't introduce to none of my friend let me know hi my dog 
I'm a sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, but you're, <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're right? Oh, no, my dog. <laughs> and I'm like, so, so you're a good, you know, I'm a good youth, man. Uh, so, but, mm, mm-hmm. so you are the balance. You're the only <laughs> one, apparently, and you must balance out everybody else, and right? I'm, I'm guessing they might get him to miss out on certain Exa- good opportunities. Or yeah. get him yeah. to do things that's outside of his personality mm-hmm. because all of them, as him said, a dog, you yeah, know? He probably caught some fleas. Yeah. Exactly. So, I'm not <laughs> saying all that to say <laughs> we have to analyze that yeah. when it comes to yourself as an individual and also as a relationship right all right so um so you mentioned regarding when you're having the conversation probably try to change the scene yes right Uh, what about like the mental space so you know some of us go into these conversations with as you said burdens that we already carry and sometimes we drop some line we're not not to do the conversation you know Nothing, at all. especially us women. I know we have this. We remember everything, as I'm saying. We don't forget nothing, right? <laughs> right? I would drop it when we think necessary, but sometimes not always fair. That's the reality. So, you do you have any advice when it comes to even that you know, the mm-hmm. actual conversation? So you Set have, own rules. Yeah. So mm. it's 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 important. So there is this kind of fine line between holding somebody accountable mm-hmm. and holding something over their heads. Okay. So it's almost like you have to, if you're the one who made a mistake, mm-hmm. you have to be able to be vulnerable enough to discuss how that mistake can be corrected. I remember once I took a major loss on one of our investments. Mm-hmm. I didn't consult her. Mm-hmm. It was above the threshold that we spoke about. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I told her about it after the fact. Yeah. Um, and she was like, well, it's okay. Um, you'll you'll figure it out. I believe in you, X, Y, Z. Wow, sir. And I was able to use the remaining funds that we have and actually make back mm-hmm. that money. But if I had held that in, I probably would have been so guilty. Yeah. I wouldn't have done anything else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's going to be important to be willing to talk through the mistakes so that you can actually improve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So I'd, I'd start there. And it's not like an attack. As well, so that's exactly. what I picked up from what you said. In yeah. that case, it was more of a. I mean, it's been an easy conversation at the moment, wasn't but cute. the outcome probably yes. was that you know what? Yeah, it happened. We're not focusing on the fact that it happened. Mm-hmm. Is I trust that you're going to do something about it. Well, da, da, da. I'm but just hoping takes... Renee keeps like a wife school or something. <laughs> no, so here's the thing: it <laughs> takes it takes a lot of patience. It does. to work through. We've had thousands of conversations and mm-hmm. yeah. And it took us some time. That trusting was a big thing for us. Yeah. I did used to trust her with the credit card. Yeah. So, for example, there are times when I, I seriously thought about keeping the card with me and going to her every time she would spend. Yeah. And I was like, that's not sustainable. I hate going to the supermarket, so yeah. I'm not going to go with her. Yeah. So Whereas I had it's therapeutic to, for me. Yeah. yeah. I had yeah. to. Well, that's why it can get very. <laughs> <laughs> yes. the yeah, I just had I just had to start going with a list right. so I can still stroll the aisle mm-hmm. but if it's not on the list it's not going in the so you found so compromise you ways to yeah. manage okay so she found compromise but also I found a way not to lose my mind <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes both things need to happen yeah right? right so it's it's depending on where you are it's just it's important to have and that's why I say have the conversation early mm-hmm. because you may need to have a lot of conversations. Mm-hmm. So I said patience because it may take you a while to get it right. Um, we've been budgeting for almost eight years, nine years. We've never stayed within budget. Right. But you it doesn't have... stop us from trying. Yeah, you still try. We're learning you more about the process. We're learning more about each other. And as I said, the budget is a guide. Mm-hmm. So that process of planning is still helpful. That, that process of going through it helps us to know where we are. Mm-hmm. And so we find it... And it helps it's... us to make wiser decisions. Yeah, because you learn from any overages or yeah. whatever. I remember when we first went through the budget and we went through like what was in each account, how much we were paying. That was very enlightening. For me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. She was like, I can't believe we're actually spending this amount. At one point, she was like, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to say you can't live this. <laughs> Listen, I'm I just going shut- over it. I'm a marriage thing. I just marriage. shut everything down. Yeah. I was like, what is, what is this food you're buying? What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> we can't afford this. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was just like, mm-hmm. complete. Yeah. Because of everything. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, I was just like, no, we're not doing this. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. We're not, we're not eating anything extra. Yeah. But I know and that was just sustainable like, for no. her. 
you need to calm down. <laughs> I mean, as a couple, that's definitely going to be the case. The balance. Sometimes, as a, you're going out, you're doing these things. I want to go here, I want to go here, I want to mm-hmm. do this, I want to do that. I know that bag looks, that bag looks nice. Yeah. It matches my shoes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the guy's like, well, we're going over here for the weekend. Let's go to look back on where those money go. Yeah. And then see how it affects your, your, your account. And that's why we think it's important. And we encourage couples to budget together. Yeah. So it's not even though one person might might be the CFO, mm-hmm. the one person is controlling yeah. not controlling in terms of yeah, but here probably is your doing money, more of yeah, the but one person is managing right. Yeah, the overseer of it. Right. That's the better word. One person is the overseer, but both of you budget together. Yeah. So that you both know where you, you are not know and you what is happening. Yeah. You both know where the money is going. Mm-hmm. So if the overseer says mm-hmm. No, mm. we're out, we're out of budget in mm. this area. Yeah. You know that, you know that. Okay, I can't, I can't do the extra thing. Mm-hmm. And and we also encourage to track together. Yeah. So you, there are apps, there are free apps. You do have to that, do it in the same way. Yeah. Right. One person may want to look at it every day. Another mm-hmm. person may look at it once per week. Mm-hmm. But in relationships where we see only one person prioritizes it, yeah. it causes yeah. them stress. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I feel yeah, like, the like other is oh, this one is interesting. Exactly. Yeah. I have to be managing this, but like, yeah. what is this? Yeah. And what helped us was to alternate. Okay. So when when it started getting stressful for me, I'm like, yeah, you do it. This is a very nice. So when that happens, you, any any probably disputes, like you know, when you come back, but this is what you've been managing. Oh then, no, because no. we're always seeing, we're always both seeing. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, it's just that. What we did was say, okay, you are going to be responsible for the managing, as Renee said. Mm-hmm. So it's not like so I still don't want to. So you ensure that the bills exactly. exactly. You ensure the bills are paid. You ensure that um, the mortgage money is in the account when it needs to be. Okay. You know, you and en- you ensure that we're both informed mm-hmm. if we're going outside of budget yeah. at any one at, at any particular time. So that that kind of thing. But we both always have access to our sheets nice. and can. Yeah. Tap in to it at any time to see where we are. Well, I love that you mentioned tap in. They started to see apps. Are, do, mm-hmm. are there any particular apps? Because you know we're in this world of technology now, where everything is can be downloaded. Do you guys use any particular app, or what is your method so for tracking? Number one tool is Excel, Excel. Mm-hmm. but there's a season when we used one called Home, Home Budget, Budget. Mm-hmm. that helped us to because food for most people, is that variable expense. Mm-hmm. Very big variable. So we find <laughs> where everything else was more or less the same, Yeah. what we weren't tracking well was food. Yeah. And so we use that to track. So every time I went to the supermarket, we'd wow. enter that. It allowed you to have your targets for the month. So as you pay a bill, you could just enter it. It will tell you yeah. how far if there's a over, yes. over right. And it could export that information to Excel so you could access it. So it had a, mm-hmm. it had a version where we could both see the same information. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was very helpful for us yeah. because like if if I'm at the supermarket, she can see what was spent and yeah. she, she'll be like, I saw a thousand dollars on the card, but I don't see it in the app. Can you enter that just so that we're on the same yeah. page right. and things mm-hmm. like that? And it, it has it has the little graphs to show you how far you are from. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it, yeah. It's a one teamwork make the dream. The so home budget. Okay, yeah. you can check it out, guys. Yeah. All right. So I have a final question. Um, we spoke about. I think we joked about it earlier about someone, for example, you know, had the husband paying the rent and it turns out it's her place. So that would be like the whole dishonesty. Somebody probably being financially betrayed. Do you think that's something that you can come back from in a relationship? Because, I mean, there's different levels of mm-hmm. betrayal. Um, yeah, some people saving money or whatever that they say they're earning is nothing like that. All of these things. We've heard stories, watch movies, Lifetime show all these things. Right? <laughs> Do we think that's something that a couple could work through and come back from? So, it's hard for us to say that there's anything that you wouldn't be able to come back from yeah. because of our our perspective and worldview mm-hmm. but what what we do talk to couples about before they get married are non-negotiables right. and those those non-negotiables serves as a talking point to say okay if this were to happen what would you do mm-hmm. and so what i would say to somebody is if if you if that's your reality you probably want to find out why that person felt like they had to do because mm-hmm. it usually will point to some insecurity or some trauma that they experienced yeah. to the point that they had to lie to you all, all of these years because yeah. maybe they're really feeling insecure about your mm-hmm. If that's the case, you really want to, 
as much as it it would hurt to try to help them get through it mm-hmm. because that's actually an issue on their side. Right. And it may need ex- external, external counseling yeah. to get there because the truth is a lot of us have a we lot have, of trauma. Yeah. 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 We have a lot of traumas, experience. a lot of things that we need to heal from that we don't realize we need yeah, to Yeah. Until from. probably a situation until, come up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So Renny constantly struggles with um, spending money on herself. Mm-hmm. It's something that I have to. No, as in I don't spend her. money on myself. Oh, you don't? Yeah. I don't. Oh. Is it to, to go do nails? Oh. He literally had to force me. Oh, I, yes. I, 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 I mean, Renee, no. I get you. I get you, <laughs> Renee. Yeah. But we have no yeah. issue spending yeah. this on yeah. other people. Yeah. Right. I can easily do that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I have gifted yeah. people yeah. massages yeah. I've never done of myself. Because these ladies, I tell you, if every two days they gotta get the nails done. Like, <laughs> nah, let so, it, no, let so. let it grow someone. <laughs> Yeah, Here's the thing, though. What yeah. everybody has a challenge no, because it's gonna for be a, Renee, yeah. the problem was stationary. Yeah. The problem was those minute purchases. Yeah, yeah small small Renee, Renee would spend, even though she's not doing hair and nails and that stuff. Yeah. She'll she'll she spend an extra hundred. five thousand and two thousand and okay. like, one thousand. Yeah. Yeah. yes, which adds up because if yeah. you're doing that every week, mm-hmm. it adds up. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So, so what is it might be the it was just yeah. a different but challenge. I think to go back to the not spend the, the trauma I had or mm. what the problem I had with not spending money on mm. myself is because I didn't see myself as worthy of spending the money. Mm-hmm. Like I can't spend on everybody else, mm. but I had some self esteem issues that I had to deal with. And that, that happens mostly from persons used to trying to be the helper all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You exactly. Know? So uh, exactly. when are you gonna be the person being treated? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so for persons who are married, mm-hmm. husbands especially you want to look to see if your wife is that person. Okay. Yeah. Spending on you, spending on the kids, spending on the home, but not spending on themselves mm-hmm. is a sign that maybe you want to help them work through that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I like that. I like that. Well, well we have. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love I love seeing examples like these because yeah. when we live in a society you now that's trying to tarnish marriage, oh, is it worth it? Yeah. Oh, is it this? Uh, Anyone is that more or less a decision that you can make? Is who you marry yeah. yeah or who you choose to be with yeah because yeah i mean, gotta be with the person before you reach a marriage yes right <laughs> so yeah that's so, the first thing so what i want to know because we mentioned quite a lot we shared out our information and guys remember that every single show is recorded so if you miss something or something went over your head you can always check it back out on our fantastic youtube channel right but if there were let's say three things out of everything we've said that you would say if there's nothing else you remember try to remember these three things when it comes to understanding money in your relationship what would they be well, sure. all right you have who's to got, be, who's got the answer the answer is i have to be completely transparent i like this no, yes. sir. completely uh, transparent uh, yeah. yes the second thing is be in agreement with each other mm-hmm. as to how you're going to deal with money, wow. how you're going to move forward, mm-hmm. and then track everything. Jeez! Let me write down this before we do it. Don't hit the list. We never put this on the list. Oh, how come? <laughs> They've been doing this for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, actually, I asked, I asked them when they came in studio, I was like, hey, you got a question? He's like, I don't need a question. We, we, we've been doing this long <laughs> enough. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, I, think this, I mean, these things will help people. You see, they, I, I would have assumed that, you know, they earlier in the relationship would have seen things as a red flag, red flag, red flag. You know, but something you, you can through work through, you can mm-hmm. talk through, something, some, from, as I said, trauma, something is, you just probably need to get over, they need that one person to take them there. And are you willing to give your time, yeah. give your heart, or, you know, sometimes it you know, took us 20 years to get here. No, but what I like so far is that even in the midst of all the advice that you shared, mm-hmm. it was never a perfect picture. It no. wasn't like, oh, we figured it out. It just came up and we're like, you know what, guys? We're let's figure, figure it out. Details. You yes, guys just heard yes. listen, there were times when the boy didn't rock for her because she'd be like, yo, what's your plan? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you literally highlighted the reality of the situation. I admire that because most people, when they're giving advice, is always from a perfect um, perspective, but you were like, no, there were times when she she's probably said this, or you she didn't say, it, you know, her action showed it, and then you could be like, boy, there are times when you probably felt insecure in a certain, mm-hmm. you know, I like that reality because it comes across better because that's what's going to happen in a relationship. Nobody has a perfect relationship, there's and there's different seasons. That's why the whole thing of oh, things aren't fifty fifty. I believe in that because there's gonna be days when you're at twenty percent, yeah, and I have a full eighty, what and vice versa, you know. 
one yes. of the biggest things I've seen here is you see they're saying, oh, it took us 20 years to get here. The very fact that both of you at some point saw it necessary that we mm-hmm. are gonna still, you know, work, yeah, work through it. We were we were on the brink of divorce. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, like, and what kept brink. us what kept us mm. off the ledge was the fact that before we got married, we both we said to each other, "We're doing this thing one time." Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we don't. We're not. You have a, an agreement to say we mm. want. We want. We don't want. We don't to, want. We don't 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 Exactly. You know how hard it is to read in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna find out about new color. I'm, 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 I've maxed out a lot of phone bills mm-hmm. <laughs> on her to talk to her. And and so <laughs> we we have have made what four phone lines disconnected. Disconnected. Because of us? Our parents' phones, yes. phone lines back then. You remember back like, when you had to call a cell phone from a landline? Yeah, yeah. Like Fifteen dollars yeah. per yeah. minute. Yeah. She would fall asleep on the phone. No. Yeah. So we'd talk like five, six hours. I, 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 I never get this. So, are they still living at all? <laughs> That's why yeah, I got to start. Well, I, 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 I think the parents were like this. Yes, congrats! Them Go and get now. married. <laughs> no Go and get married, guys. <laughs> You know, but well, I, I, like it. Well, I have to say, Rene and Jermaine, it was a very insightful conversation, an entertaining one. I have to say, admire the, the realness that you brought to the mm-hmm. conversation as well and the wealth of information. So, guys, remember, learn, grow, invest. They do this not only for today's show, yeah. but this is, as you said, your ministry. This is your this is what you're doing to give back to other yes, couples, yeah. other persons, you know. So check out Learn, Grow, Invest. Can you remind us of the social media page? You just said it. Learn, Grow, Invest. <laughs> All right. No, I don't know if there's a Learn, Grow, Dot, Invest. No, or it's also, also, we don't there's also one here. for couples called Loving to the Max. That's M-A-C-K-S. Ooh. Yeah. So Loving to the, what you say? M-A-C-K-S. M-A-C-K-S. Yeah. Loving to the max. Loving to the max. M A C K S. McDonald's. Yes. yes. I figured. I figured. Yeah, yeah. The, the max <laughs> out. The max <laughs> out. I want to thank everybody that passed through the studio today. I want to say big up to everybody. The ratings team, Soul Explosion, the Hard B U Tech Group. Everybody that passed through. West Rock, large up to you. We got about 30 minutes, 30 seconds to go. Any big ups, any final words? Thank you. Is that a big up show? Big Probably. up my wife. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, big up my husband. I like it. I like it. Kids, no? Yeah, man. No, no the mother, the mother, the father. Hold on. All right. <laughs> People have a fun time. Thank you. Check our Instagram page for more giveaway prizes. DJ MB Stone. Yes. Take hands. Use it wisely. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go to the next one.